on this Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy terrific Tuesday wherever you're in the world. I'm not going to take too long. I love the Lord with all my heart. I just love the Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me the strength to do this video because I just love the Lord. I'm looking so wonderful today. I'm in pink. God is so good. Without Him, we are nothing. So I just want to go into a word of prayer. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for everything you are doing, Father Lord. But Father Lord, I just pray that this message will go forth to your word, Father Lord, yes, because Lord, you are everything. And we just, without you, Father Lord, we are nothing. And we just depend on you, Father Lord. And thank you, Lord, yes, to give me the health and strength for everything, Father Lord. So about to go to this message, I just pray, Father Lord, that everyone, wherever they are, they will be serious about your life. Father Lord, say about health and say about everything, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Son, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, Father Lord. I just like from the rise of the sun to the and you are worthy. And hallelujah, we give you all the praise and we give you all the thanks in no other name. In the name of the precious name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. So, we are going to read James chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when we fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth, is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and rust. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So the topic is today, hold on, stay strong, right? God is love. Know your identity. Know who you are in Christ and not of the worldly lust. And take, be careful. Right? Know who's a friend. Because Jesus is a friend that's sticker closer than a brother. So the point is in his epistles, James and one said Knowing verse three, knowing this that the trying of your faith work and patience. So we know the walk the, the fruits of the spirit, right? Is joy, peace, happiness, kindness, gentleness. We have to exercise these things in our lives and stop having Stop having the counterfeits in our lives, the giants in our lives. We have to remove them by praying, praying and fasting if you have to do that, right? Do a seven day, right? But coming back, we have to be more serious. In God. It's raining season. It's raining season, right? And we have to focus on the Lord all the time. Don't, do not get sidetracked. Yes, it will have new demons right will be rising up but we have to put on the full armor of god all the time so that you can withstand the wiles of the devil because we're not wrestling against flesh and guts blood uh, flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world right we have to remember that god created us for a purpose and his purpose and plan is to do the work of his father is to do the work of God, is to glorify the Father, right? We we are kingdom remnants, the remnants. We are kingdom remnants, we are royal. We are royal priests, so we are whole nation, we are peculiar people, right? We, as people, we, our purpose, right? Our purpose is to save souls, is to save souls, is to preach the gospel to everyone, right? Not everybody will go with you, right? Not everyone will understand your assignment. But you have to learn to discern. You have to learn to pray. You have to learn to consult God. Consult God first in all things. And he will give you the answers to your problems that you face in life, right? We all are human beings. But at the end of the day, we will fall, right? Because the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short. But we have to learn 
to pray. We have to learn to seek God daily. We have to do these things, right? These things is a must in reigning season. We are preparing, right? 2020 is a preparation year, right? And it's also reigning season. You'll always see harvest. Reigning is abundance, R-A-I-N-I-N-G. So we always have to be patient. We always have to walk after, do not walk after youthful lust. Do not walk up carnal minded. Always be spiritually minded with God. Because without God, it is, it is impossible to please him. Right? We have to be diligently seeking him daily. We have to be royal. We have to be kingdom kids. We have to be, you know, we're not perfect. But we have to, God is using us. God is, God is building in us. Right? God is planting in us a new thing. For us to carry out into the world, we have to be preachers. We have to be true to ourselves. We have to preach to the people and evangelize to them. And let them know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by him. We have to preach. We have to evangelize. We have to sing praises to the Lord daily. Because we are not like the world. We are in the world. And we are not of the world. Right? We are not going to go back into the wilderness. We was in the wilderness. Right? But we have to be more consistent, right? The wilderness was a preparation for 2020, right? God pruned us. God prepares. us. God building us. And now we have to go out into the world, right? And preach the gospel to people who need it. We have to save souls. We have to be warriors in Christ. That is what we have to do. Build a structure. It's a structure God is building in us, right? For rain and season. Do not take God for granted. Always remember, focus on him. Focus on him. Seek him daily all the time. According to Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So we had to focus on the Lord because God is love. For, for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, but that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. So we have everlasting life. We have salvation. Lord. We have to. We have to build. With God, God is our redeemer. God can redeem the time, but we have to focus on him. Do not get sidetracked, right? It will have counterfeits. It will have new demons, new devils, but we have to focus. We have to be still. We have to be still in all areas of our life, not only one time, a lifetime. We have to be still and focus on God because God is not playing. God is silent, yes, but God is not playing right we have a we have a god who could do all things we could do all things to christ according to philippians 4 13 right he will supply our needs right you don't have to work or nothing you have to depend on the lord depend on the lord and he will direct your path so according to james right james chapter 1 verse 5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So, if you lack wisdom, right, knowledge and understanding, ask God. Ask God. Pray and ask God. Consult God daily, right? Go in your prayer room, wherever. Pray. Just pray to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand. I want to understand more fully what, what it means, right? Because the Bible have it very clear, right? The Bible have it very clear. That we ought to obey God in spirit and in truth. And do not walk after youthful lust. Do not walk after the carnal flesh. Because the carnal flesh is pride and ego. And is rejection also too. Right? So we have to learn. We have to learn as Christian people to do not go back in our ways. Right? Focus on the Lord. Let God be your, God is your friend. God is everything to you. Right? God could be a father. God could be a mother. Everything. Because he created everything. Right? In Genesis 1 and 1, God said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God said to be fruitful and multiply in the Old Testament. But we're in the New Testament now. This is the end times and God is coming again soon. And we have to be careful. God is raising up kingdom remnants. God is raising up people. Right? Focus on the Lord. Always remember, repent of your sins. If you're going back in your ways, repent. Surrender. Right? Your life to him. You cannot, be, you cannot be going back in your ways and then being a Christian, right? You cannot serve two masters. Remember that. 
you either serve one or despise the other. That's what God said in his Bible. In the Bible, the Bible is a true book, right? Read it. Read it and acknowledge God, right? That's what we have to do as people in the Lord. Do not focus on this world. We are in the world, but not of the world, right? Remember that. We are in the world, but not of the world. We have to be a light. We have to be a light shining before men that they will see our good works and glorify our Father, which is in heaven. We have to be shining our lights. That means we have to put God first. We have to do the work for Jesus Christ left. Jesus Christ was in the flesh. He had no sin, right? He did plenty of works. He healed the sick. We have to do these things. We have to save souls. That is our purpose. God's purpose and plan for our lives is to be just as him. We giving God all the glory is not of ourselves, right? We have to be just as Christ. And that is the whole problem. God's love is in us and we have to know what we are about. We have to know our true identity and purpose of everything, right? Because it's not for ourselves, it's for God. God is just using us, right, to maintain a standard. Right? Into the standard of holy living. Okay? So, I'm going back to... So, verse 6 say, But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and rust. So, let him ask in faith believing. Right? That is that is another example of walking after the fruits of the Spirit. When you walk after the fruits of the Spirit, and you walk correctly in God, and you obey God, because obedience, be obedient in all things, just as how Moses was an obedient person. Hold on. Alan? I read in my Bible. I will, I will read him afterwards. Right, Alan? Yeah, I'm mine. So sorry about that. That is just that is how you see how God is. So personally, we all have to do what is right in God's sight. We all have to obey God. It's not man. Never ever put your faith and trust in man but God. God loves you so much that He will do anything for you if you trust and obey and put your faith and trust and humble and be humble humble yourselves therefore before god resist the devil and he will flee from you okay so this is just a brief word right and it's taken from general epistle of james chapter one the whole chapter right so remember god loves you and you have a good day, a blessed day, and I hope this message will be a message to you, and I hope you will understand, and I will pray that everyone who needs a touch from the Lord, and this is a serious thing, because God loves you no matter what you're going through, pray, consult the Lord, right, before you do anything in life, be still, focus, our purpose is to save souls. From going to a loss, from going to hell and lake of fire, because heaven and hell is very real, right? So you have a good day, and let me pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this word. I pray, Father Lord, Jesus, that this word will come across, Father Lord, that everyone will take heed, Father Lord, and know that God loves them, and Father Lord, they will not be going out of their way, Father Lord, they will not go back in, the, they will not look back, Father Lord, and move forward, Father Lord, Jesus. So whatever you have for them, Father Lord, that Lord, they will depend on you, Father Lord, and not only lean on their own understanding, but acknowledge you and you will direct your, their path, Father Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord, you give anybody wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and Father Lord, that they consult you, Father Lord, before they do anything in this life, Father, because this life is not good, Father Lord. We are in the world and not of the world, Father Lord. We are like kingdom kings, Father Lord, kingdom kids, Father Lord, we are reigning in this reigning season, Father Lord, for you, Father Lord, and it's all good. All glory goes to God and none to us, Father Lord. And the glory we give all the praise, give all the honor. So I just pray, Father Lord, Jesus, that everyone who have a good day 
grant them for Lord in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you are worthy, Father Lord. Just yes, thank you, Lord, for the Father. Thank you, Lord. Just yes, thank you, Lord, that I go to come into your presence while on this Tuesday, wherever Caribbean International that people will be listening to me, Father Lord. That Father Lord get us into their spirits, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. Okay. You have a good, good day. Right? You have a good, good Tuesday, and I will see you all, right? Bye-bye.